So now I want to talk about oring and anding these values. If you if you think about it, uh, this short my value it has two bytes, um, and really a a, a a a data type like a short, uh, you could think of it as an array, an array of booleans. If you look at this, we have we in either place we can put zeros or ones. So essentially, it's and it's an array of of 16 booleans here. And uh, we can do some fancy things with this, these booleans. For example, let's say my, short my value uh, is 1. Short, let's do short your value is, let's do 4. So then your value will have the shape of 0, 2. Here's the 4 place. And, and so look at, look at my value. Uh, the the array here, Al. I just copy and pasted all these ones. Oops, sorry. Let me get rid of them. Okay, so look at my values array here. I have all these these booleans, and the last one is true. The rest of them are false. And you have all these values here. Uh, the second element, if we're zero based from the right, is a one, and the rest of them are false. So we can do Boolean logic. For example, if I have bool b, I can assign that the result of true and false. And it works just like your other courses, true and false would make b's value go to false, because true and false is false. If I put in or here, then b's value would be true, because true or false is true. Well, the same is true for these arrays of boolean that we have up here. Uh, let, let's do this short result. Gets my value. And instead of using two ampersands, we use one. Uh, my, my value and your value. And then I can see out, well, let's just modify this down here. Let's just say see out result. Well, let's put my value and your value on t uh, right next to each other here. So, so zero and zero, uh, and then let's put, let, let's say this is the result line, this third line here will be the result line. So you could, p uh, p we're going to take these two values and and them. Well, zero and zero, zero, and zero and zero, 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 all the way to, to this one. So zero and one still makes a zero because false and true is false. And um, true and false also makes false. So if we look at results value here, it's all zeros. So if I run this, we see that we have a zero. Now let's put a or here instead of an and. What, how will that change the result? Well, it's only going to change it where these ones are. So zero or ones are basically saying false or true is now a true. And true ORed with false makes a true. And if you look at that number, what is that number in decimal? Well, it's 4 plus 1, which makes 5. So that's pretty slick. So that's that's ANDing and ORing in a nutshell. And um, uh, just to make ANDing a little more interesting, let's put an AND here. And then I'm going to come down here. And let's just say I want to put a 1 and a 1 here. Well, what would that those values be up here? So a 1 and a 1, that's that's 2 plus 1 makes 3. So that's going to be a 3. And then 4 plus 2 is 6. So, so this value and it with this value, well, basically 0 and 1 is 0. But 1 and 1 is a 1, and then 1 and 0 is a 0. So the end result is 2 in decimal. Let's run it and verify. Hey, we have a 2. So that's anding and oring uh, in a nutshell.